It feels illegal to watch a couple of thousand sandblocks falling without lag, except this isn't real time, it's rendered. So I make this possible in real time by sprinkling some magical element X dust on Minecraft source code, what the f This is rendering in real time and it looks pretty satisfying. But what if we try that? That's like 40,000 blocks. Well, it does perform well at the beginning, but it begins to touch the tens and even the single digit FPS, which is still decent for my 5 year old laptop, but not good enough for us. We want zero lags. Well, lucky for you, I got my hands on the best PC in the universe, made by Starforge. Alright, now we're on the Starforge computer. So as you see, it is pretty satisfying, and as of right now, there's zero lag. We currently have, holy crap, 5,000 entities and it's still not lagging, which is extremely impressive. So we're gonna be coming back to this falling sand blocks a little bit later. So we currently got, uh... Yep, 10,000 zombies as you see right here. And yeah, Minecraft is running perfectly fine. So I made snowballs create a satisfying effect with a bunch of zombies. Bam. And as you see, oh my gosh. Yes, that is extremely satisfying. Look at all these zombies just laying down and then just slowly dying and then leaving this smoke path behind. Wow, I freaking love this. <laughs> the Iron Golem is like, oh, I'm gonna kill all these zombies. So I made it spread faster, and this should be way more satisfying. Bam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was majestic. How? Whoa. Oh! So many bows shoot a bunch of arrows when it is shot. It's like plowing through all these zombies. Okay, so what if I shoot an arrow that is way faster? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's just say you threw like a thousand snowballs in vanilla Minecraft. That's gonna lag. But we can throw 10,000 snowballs without causing any lag. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Because I've optimized the snowballs code and also we're on an i9 computer with a freaking 4080, that's freaking insane. Just for a comparison, this is what happened when I threw 10,000 snowballs on my older PC. You may have a slower computer than this and want to invest in a better computer. I said invest because not all investments necessarily make money. For example, after I upgraded my PC, I shaved a couple of seconds off of every app launch which added up, saving me a lot of time. I would consider that a good investment. If your current PC is older, the difference will be astronomical. Even with Starforge's Horizon PCs, they are powerful enough and won't break your bank. If you would like to go for something solid, you can try to go for navigators. They will last you for years. Soldier PCs are for you if you want to fall in love with your PC because that's what I have and we are now engaged. If you are a PC builder, Starforge has custom plate lights so you can throw that in your PC if you want. Don't settle for an outdated tech dragging you down. Go ahead and check out Starforge today and unlock the best deals possible with 2 years warranty on all of their products. Thank you Starforge for sponsoring this video. So I'm gonna just go from left to right, destroying all of these zombies. Oh god! <laughs> That's really impressive. Oh yeah! So we can probably destroy a warden eh? and pretty fast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. I buy villager houses. If you're to activate this mechanism in vanilla Minecraft, everything goes to shit because it lags a lot. However, I fixed that. Bam. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> so this is what it's supposed to look like if the TNTs did not explode. And also, if it did not lag. I feel like I'm sending like a Wi-Fi signal. If you do kill at E, it kills every single TNT in a sequential order, which makes your eyeballs tingle with satisfactions. Wait, what the f- Signs break instantaneously if you're to break them in Java edition, but if you break them in Bedrock edition, they break sequentially. So I've made them break sequentially in Java edition too, and I've also reduced their lags. Oh no, he's using a birch wall sign. It's the worst wood type ever. Oh no, go cry about it. Okay, so let's see. So oh, satisfying. Three, two, one. Bam. Yes. Yes, I love this sound. It's like. Brr, 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 brr. If you make this world in vanilla Minecraft, it's gonna be destroying your computer. But not today. Three, two, one. Bam. <laughs> okay. 
So this is causing no lag whatsoever and it is pretty satisfying. So this time I'm gonna be destroying one cactus block and I'm gonna go fly up in the sky as soon as possible. Oh wow. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is causing zero lag for some reason. And I should see as a stalactite, whatever this thing is called, it is destroying every single villager in its path. And it is also not even lagging that much at all. 10 out of 10, bro. This is amazing. Now, instead of dripstones, I've made TNT's fall. Yes, this is a render. So that's why it looks so majestic. In case if you're wondering, later in this video, I've also made TNTs not lag in real time. But before that, I want to show you guys sand falling with absolutely zero lag in Minecraft. You already know that if you destroy one single block in a sand only world, it's gonna be destroying your computer. But that's not gonna be happening today. Yes! Oh, <laughs> very nice. So as you see, it is extremely satisfying and also smooth get all these slime balls i mean not slime slime boys oh they're dying oh no they're dead okay if you look at it from here it is way more satisfying than looking from over there because it looks like your world is just caving in there we have almost 4,000 sands rendering at the same time but it is not lagging can i outrun the sand do you think it's possible i don't think so no that thing is too fast oh no oh no <laughs> oh no now, there's a way to make the falling sand even more satisfying. Let's get it! <laughs> okay, yep. As you see, same thing is happening. Oh my gosh. Why are the lantern blocks producing cactus items? It feels illegal to walk in real time, honestly. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be coming pretty soon. I believe so. Hopefully. Yes! So since I know how to change Minecraft source code, I've made the falling blocks jump a little bit up and then fall down. Bam. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. There we go. So, oh my gosh. Why is this so freaking satisfying? So as you see, the sand jumps up when it is destroyed and then it goes down like that. Nice, it's killing all the villager houses. No, we have over 6,000 entities rendering at the same time, but it is not lagging. So remember when I made TNTs not lag at all? Yep, I've made it again, but we're on a better computer. We're literally on a Star Force computer, and this should be way better. So as you see, the TNTs are not lagging whatsoever. However, you probably realize that the TNTs are exploding at a way slower pace compared to vanilla Minecraft. And that's because I've limited the speed and also limited the amount of TNTs that could coexist at any given moment in Minecraft. Just for a comparison, this is a render of TNTs exploding in vanilla without lag. So you know how TNTs could make sand fly? Yep, so I've tried it in our modified instance of Minecraft, but it was pretty underwhelming because I only put one layer of sand. So what if I put like five different layers? So uh, let's see. I think this may cause my computer to explode. Not just kidding, it's not gonna explode. It's still handling like a champ. <laughs> so this may be disastrous, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Yep, that was probably... No, that was not a bad idea. It's still working. How many sands are there? I don't even know, but it still works somewhat. That was... <laughs> it didn't lag. <laughs> How did that not lag? If I make a really thick sand cutout like this and destroy them, it's not going to be that smooth because this still requires a lot of CPU. Let's check this out. Oh, it's not lagging. Whoa. It's, whoa, 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 whoa what? Huh? So at this point, I was genuinely baffled because my old PC could not handle this. So from here on out, I pretty much only said like, huh, bro? So yeah, I believe you deserve to feel the same feeling of being impressed by your new PC. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out Starforge because they have the perfect PC built just for you. And this video is about me hitting 180,000 FPS in Minecraft. And here is another video. Martin Dead, thanks for watching.